Well, you say that the president was clear in condemning this bigotry, but listen to this. This is from an infamous neo-Nazi website, quote, Trump comments were good. He said he loves us all. Also refused to answer a question about white nationalists supporting him. No condemnation at all. When asked to condemn, he just walked out of the room. Really, really good. God bless him, unquote. Mr. Bosser, that's a neo-Nazi website celebrating how equivocal and vague the president of the United States was. Are you willing to at least concede that President Trump was not clear enough in specifically condemning white supremacy? No, you know, the, the words of the ignorant bear little with me and should bear less with you uh, in the media. Uh, unfortunately, they don't. They, what they found when they showed up were groups from outside that showed up on both sides looking for trouble, dressed in riot gear, prepared for violence. It's not tolerated. It's not tolerable. I think what you saw is Republican unity in terms of denouncing it. And I think you saw the president stand up very clearly and not only denounce it, but rise to a presidential level of calling for a counter message of love and dignity and respect for fellow human beings. How many people did the counter protesters kill yesterday, Mr. Bosser? Well, I'll tell you, one death is too many, Jake. And, but that uh, wasn't by the counter protesters. She this. was, the victim I, was a I, counter protester. I, I the victim hold, was hold a counter on one moment, Jake. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't for one minute, I don't for one moment, and I won't allow you for one second to put me in a position of being an apologist for somebody who is now a charged murderer. You just, think you just decried you should, both you sides. Probably for a moment. You just decried both well, sides. Here I we think, have a situation, Mr. Bosser, no. where, where neo-Nazis, no, no, I don't, I the Klan, don't, I don't pay, all I don't pay, and others yeah. went to Charlottesville, Virginia, chanting anti-Semitic, anti-African-American, and other racist slogans, provoking the yeah. people of Charlottesville, Virginia, making them feel intimidated. Yes, violence did break out. One person was killed by one of these alt-right Klan Nazi protesters, and you just decried yeah. both sides of this, and no, this is I didn't. the issue. No, no, I didn't, and you're making this issue a little bit distorted. So. What I would decry is the individual that committed murder yesterday. What I would do, though, is, is quibble with uh, this, this notion that any of this is acceptable. Uh, these groups showed up spewing hate. Uh, these groups showed up looking for violence. What and groups? I think it's just important for people to understand. What groups are you referring uh, of to? Of course, the groups that showed up. Uh, well, I, 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 I refer to the groups that clashed yesterday. I think it was pretty graphically evident. Uh, are you talking about the neo-Nazi neo Nazis? Or are you talking about the counter-protesters? One, one, one of the things that I think the mayor uh, will make clear to you, uh, and, and probably stated earlier on your program, I know he and I talked about it this morning, was the difficulty he had in planning for this event. The point I'm trying to make here is that what we saw yesterday was an unacceptable planned demonstration of violence. And what I would say is, with respect to murder, and I, I'm a little bit indignant over the way you phrased that, uh, apologies if I took it the wrong way.